so we made our tower it's so cute it's just so cute we're gonna be using uh, two yards of terry cloth so instead of buying towers you can buy one bath tower and a hand tower but i just bought a terry cloth to cut and do my own measurements instead of using the ready-made towers i'm using 12 by 16 for the hood and just 12 by 8 for hand uh, washcloth 12 by 8 for washcloth 12 by 18 12 by 16 sorry 12 by 16 for the hood and 12 by 8 for washcloth you want to begin by adding your your stabilizer to your hoop and then use whatever spray you have i'm using a temporary adhesive make sure it's a temporary adhesive i'm using my um basting spray that's why i use you can use that or whichever one you have if you use 505 whatever type of temporary adhesive you use just spray your so you want to fold your tower into half your 12 by 16 piece or if you are using a hand tower just cut it by the same measurement it's gonna be okay and just make sure you have it folded in the middle to form a little crease there where you can line it up in your hoop so make sure you have your center mark with the center of your hoop right here where you have this little knob. So now we're going to just place it on the machine and try to do an outline for our design. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Over here, we just try to share with other moms all around how to find a second income or maybe a stream of income that's going to be helpful for you and the family that's what we do over here we make little things that you can sell online that you can sell as gifts to people and so if that sounds like something that you like and you want to know more about we encourage you to just hit that subscribe button join the family let's keep growing together and Whatever it is that you think you want us to share, just let us know down in the comments. And we can all do it together. We can learn it together. So today we're making this Huda Tower. You can sell these for baby showers. You can make them for any gifts for your kids. So I just added my water soluble stabilizer. I added a little bit of my basting spray to it to just hold it down and so i'm gonna make sure now okay so now it's working it's trying to fit where i want it okay i'm gonna lower my brakes off foot see me using something like the plastic over there the water soluble stabilizer that's because i'm working on a tower fabric or this kind of material anytime you're working with something like this or wool or anything you want to make sure you're using something like that maybe a plastic or anything that so your stitches don't sink in the material up and cut that three so this is gonna go for like 
it was actually gonna go for almost an hour so i thought not to bore you down with too many changing threads and all that so as we go along in the design i will just let you see what's going on so right now you can see we're almost half the way because we have almost an hour to go and now we are 34 minutes we'll keep letting you see as we go along and at the end we'll see the final product we're gonna do the design and then we take it to my machine to combine the hood and the, the tower together to form our actual hooded tower so if you can see my design here this should have been brown but there's small bobbin thread showing out i don't know why because I know when it got over there for thread change, it stopped and said the bobbin thread was almost done, so I should change it. And I did because the machine could not go ahead without that. There should be a way to, to take, remove that setting, so I need to go in the settings and remove that. But then since I changed the bobbin thread, it started pulling out the bobbin thread instead of my top thread so I got a white monkey so I just removed the bobbin and just re-thread the machine and it just started working again I didn't do anything extra so sometimes it's it's a machine so yeah sometimes it will have its own part or stuff so just be patient but that's all I did. I just remove it like you saw me do. I just remove the bobbin, put it reinserted, and I just re-thread the entire machine, and it's working good again. Sometimes it can be frustrating, but that's what that's why it's a machine. This is our final product. Now we're just gonna remove it, get it off the hoop, and start to join it together. And that's how the design came up. This was where I had my problem with the bobbin thread coming up. So now we're going to get it out of the hoop and just remove the plastic from the top and then we'll go to the sewing machine. Yeah, I'm going to be using this tender touch under here to cover up the stitches. That's if they look so bad that I can't handle them, but I don't think they look that messy to me so i might be able to just trim it off and leave it on like that since it's a bath tower but we'll see what happens so but just in case you're thinking about how to cover up this owner that's what you do you get tender touch and use it to iron on on the back of your design it covers up the stitching area that way this entire thing don't show to anybody it's just your little secret. So I cut out a piece of my tender touch. And I'm just, I just made a piece slightly larger than my design. And I'm going to just use my iron and iron it on wool. I'm going to be ironing it on wool settings because that's the direction it gave. So, I'm using the rough side of the tender touch facing the design, the back of my design. So, I'm just going to iron it, take it to my ironing board and just iron it on wool. 
are doing the set 10 to 15 seconds and then we'll get ready to join them together After you apply your wonder, your tender touch, you fold your towel again, this time around right size facing. Depends on the size you want. If you're making it for a younger baby, maybe you come in about three inches or four, just depending on the size you want. But I just feel you should make it bigger, that way it lasts longer with the kid. So to form the hood, you come, I'm going to come in about three inches. And I will just come from the top. You can pin it if you want to. Okay. So, all right. You can see I pin from the top. Down my pin is not coming straight. It's slanted. Because I went in like three inches, so it is slanted. So we're gonna just so if you're using a searcher, just go ahead and search over there. It's gonna cut it and form your uh, um sealing. It was gonna seal your ends. But in case you're just using a sewing machine, and I'm just using a machine for this project, I'm not using my searcher. So I'm going to go down and do this with a stress stitch and then go over with a zigzag just to seal it so it don't fray because it's terry cloth. It's towel material. It's going to fray if you leave it like that. So I'm going to seal the ends with zigzag stitch. So hopefully you can see this. That's why we use the zigzag stitch. Okay. I use two different colors of thread. So I guess it's visible enough on the back. You can see it. So that's going to stop your material from freeing. As you can see now. Nothing comes out compared to this side. Yeah. So. That's what you do when you don't have a surgery. I got my surgery here, but I just chose to use my machine. So you can know you can do it without surgery. So in the back here, we're just going to run a line or gather stitch to form the hoodie. So just probably your machine has a gather stitch already or you just your stress stitch just increase the length of it and you're going to be able to gather so when you start gathering when you sewing for gather stitch do not run run a back stitch when you begin just go ahead and sew do not run a back stitch just go ahead and sew it So this is the back of the hood, as you can see, we gather, and I hope you know how to gather if you don't, just check out some of my gathering videos. I'm going to use about three inches, you can do anything between three to five, depending on how wide your towel is. I when I mark at three inch, and I'm going to be stopping there for my gather, so that's where my gather is going to start. I actually gather from here to here so the rest of it on the sides I don't want it gather if you want it you can just go ahead and do the entire thing but I just want only the back to be gathered like this I don't want the sides to be so I'm gonna be leaving it like that and now we're gonna fold you're gonna grab your bath towel Fold it into half to attach your hood. I have it folded into half. I'm going to 
I'm going to be attaching my hood. I'm going to use this top part. If it's too difficult for you to maintain or keep a mark there, you can use your iron. So now I'm going to take my hood. And this is the top half of my fabric of my towel. I'm sorry, I'm so used to sewing. So I'm just going to line it up with the middle of my hood. I already know because I have this sew in the middle. So you're just going to line that up. I'm actually doing it front facing. So you want to match the front of the right side of your hood to the right side of your towel. And just pin it on there. We've pinned it together like this. Just line them up. Make sure your hood is in the middle of your fabric, of your towel, sorry. So I got this and I'm just gonna take it to my machine now and just do the same way I did first. Do a straight stitch first and then you do a zigzag stitch to seal it up. To stop your fabric from fraying. So remember, do a straight stitch, then change your machine settings to a zigzag and do a wide zigzag stitch. I like to do maybe like two or three times just to make sure it's decent looking. So that's how you see it comes out looking like this when you go over it like two, three times. And it comes out looking like this. So now, since I'm using a terry cloth, if you're using a bath towel, then you don't have to do this because your towel will already have edges, finished edges. But because I'm using a terry cloth, so I have to form my own edges. So now I'm going to just go ahead and do my... I'm just going to fold it in. I'm going to just come to the end here, fold it in, and do my straight stitch and then go over it with the zigzag stitch i'm done and this is what it looks like this is the front of the hood All around it in the towel. I just love how the back came up. I'm loving it so good. You see the inside? I just went ahead and did like I told you. I ran, used the stitch, the straight stitch to join it. And then I just did a zigzag stitch to stop the fray. That's all I did with it. And now you have your hooded tower made from scratch.